I didn't realize it until a couple of years ago that I didn't love myself. So once I realized that I didn't truly love myself, I decided to go on a journey and figure out what's going on and why I felt the way I did about myself. Now that I have figured out how to love myself, I want to share it with other women that's actually going through the exact same thing. So if you have issues with loving yourself, make sure you stay tuned and watch the full video. Tip number one, forgive yourself for the mistakes that you made. We all have made mistakes. And one of the worst things that you can do is to keep reliving it, living in your past. And the reason why is because you won't be able to move forward to the next chapter of your life until you forgive yourself. I remember when I turned 40 years old and for the first couple of years in my 40s, I lived in my past because I had a lot of regrets and I was disappointed of where I was at because I felt like I should have been further in life. I had certain goals that I wanted to accomplish and I hadn't have done it yet. If anything, it felt like that I was moving backwards instead of forward. And I can even remember feeling that if I didn't come out of that, that I would become depressed because I was just so disappointed at myself. When I turned 46 years old, my mindset began to change and I recognized that how that I can't go back and change my past. So stop wasting your time and thinking about decisions that you wish that you could change. But instead, think about tomorrow. Start making some new goals. Set some new goals for yourself and make it realistic. And focus on the, the future that you want instead of, of your past. And once I started doing that, that's when my life begins to change and I became happy within myself and I started loving myself. I have been around a lot of women throughout my life and one of the downfalls I noticed about a lot of Christian women is that they live in their past and they have a hard time forgiving others. And that is a huge trick of the enemy because you won't be able to move forward. You won't be able to go into the next chapter of your life until you learn how to forgive. Tip number two. Watch the company you keep. You are who you hang around. Be careful about who you're hanging around because whoever you're hanging around, most likely that is what you're going to become. And for some reason, it's easy to pick up on bad habits from someone else. It's easy to catch on to that. So you want to be careful about the company that you keep. Proverbs 27 and 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. Proverbs 13 and 20 says, Whoever keeps company with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools suffers harm. So you want to be careful about who you hang around. It's very important because the person that you hang around, you're going to become like that person. So watch the company that you keep. Tip number three, trust yourself. Pay attention to your gut. A lot of times we have this feeling about something and we don't pay any attention and it is because we don't trust ourselves. But it's good to trust yourself, to trust your instinct. And that's one of the things that I have been working on and I have gotten better with it. And when I think about my past, a lot of times I would have this feeling about a particular situation or a person. And I am the type of person where I do see good in everyone because I'm very positive. But I had to learn too when I get this particular feeling about this particular person to pay attention to those feelings and don't try to push them aside because it's something that I don't want to believe. So I am learning to trust my instinct, to trust the way that I feel and to pay attention. I hope you enjoyed the video. Share with me which tip you like the best. If you like my message and you want to support me, 
All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flow. It's for Christian women. And the main focus of the group is self-improvement. So if you want to improve yourself, join my Facebook group. Thank you for tuning in. And make sure you stay tuned for the next upload of How to Love Yourself.